A local woman was remembered recently for her work as a women's Air Force service pilot during World War II. That's right, Margaret. Maggie Ray Ringenberg's daughter, Marsha Wright, has written a book about her mother's life as a WASP, or women's Air Force service pilot. She's here, she's here to share some of her story with us today. Good morning. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here with Thank us. You. Thank you. Now, we mentioned that she started flying with the WASP back in 1943. Why did she decide to become a pilot at that time? When she was just eight years old, her parents bought their first automobile, mm -hmm. and they were uh, driving around Bern when a barnstormer landed in a field. Said, do you want a ride? They said, sure. Got in, went for a ride, and it's like it planted a seed. Mm -hmm. So, wow. She, wow. So actually, she wanted, she thought the word pilot was gender specific. She thought it meant a man. She didn't know a woman could fly. So she decided she wanted to be an airline stewardess because then she'd be in the air. Yeah. And, but then she thought, what if they would have trouble in the air? Maybe she should learn just to land just a plane. Just in case. Mm -hmm. So she right. took that first lesson and then never again went on with being a, a stewardess. She was hooked. She, she was, was hooked. hooked. On. She <laughs> wow. loved it. When she did become a pilot, yes. what kind of challenges did she, did she face as, as a woman? Um, well, to become a pilot to start with was the... Um, the financial, I mean, she was working full-time at GE at this time, mm -hmm. so she could afford a half-hour lesson a week. Oh, wow. uh, just kind of an interesting side thing as a challenge there was, um, she, she, even though she worked on the farm, she didn't own a, a pair of slacks. So mm -hmm. she was wearing a skirt, and you go to an airport, and it's a little windy, oh, and you're windy. crawling <laughs> in up. Yeah. So her first challenge was to find a pair of riding pants or something that she could wear comfortably <laughs> there, you know. As a wasp, they were fairly well received. There's a little bit of tension because the WASP replaced men mm -hmm. so that the men could be sent overseas. And sometimes they didn't mm -hmm. want to do that. So right. there was a little tension there, but she felt like it was well. She didn't complain about that very much at all. Mm -hmm. Now, you got your pilot's license at age 17. I did. Okay, and you raced uh, with your mom. Your mom was also your flight instructor. Yes. Talk about sharing those experiences. Yeah. Well, she had been racing many years and talked about the, uh, the experiences she had, and I really wanted to travel, mm -hmm. and I really didn't have the I want to be a pilot experience, but I wanted to travel, and I wanted to go with her, and I wanted to please her, so, and she was able to teach me. I got my license, and we raced together. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I raced against her in smaller races, and one time, just one time, I placed third, and she placed fifth. Oh, I think you beat her. She was so much concentrating on what I was doing. I think she wasn't <laughs> watching her own race. But <laughs> She passed away in 2008. And back on December yes. 10th, Maggie Ray received the Congressional Gold Medal for her service. What was that yes. like for your yes. family accepting that on, on her behalf? It's, it's actually it's a little bit of a bittersweet experience. Mm -hmm. It's just wonderful to have her honored in this way. Um, actually, she has received two of them. The, the one that I brought with Same me today mm -hmm. is, uh, this was for being a WASP, the Women's Air Force Service Pilot, and it was issued in 2009. And I had traveled with her quite a bit, and they knew me, and they sent this to me. Um, the one that she just received last month, I haven't seen yet, and we did not fly to Washington. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about it in time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we didn't make arrangements to do that. But um, I did have a friend who was in Washington at the time who attended, and sent us a, a program. So we've seen that, and I've seen it on a video. So the family's just very mm -hmm. honored that she could get it. And it's, I think it's nice to draw attention to the people who did things like that. So even though she isn't here, this draws attention to other WASP and other people in the Civil Air Patrol. That's what the most recent one was for being a Civil Air Patrol. Oh, True absolutely. pleasure to have you in and hear yep. about Thank your mother's you so story. Much. And Thank you me. wrote a book I in did. 2007, the year before that she passed I away. Did. She'll be talking about more about this book that you see here this afternoon. Marsha will be speaking about her mother today as part of the George R. Mather Lecture Series. That's going on at 2 p.m. at the History Center. Admission is free, and we'll be right back.